Herbert Blitzstein, Las Vegas gangster, answered to Chicago. A.K.A. Fat Herbie. Born November 2, 1934. Died on January 6, 1997. On July 13, 1967, a bookie named Arthur Budai Cowan was shot dead for withholding a street tax to Tony Spilatro. Cowan, of 7307, Crawford Avenue in Lincolnwood, was found in the trunk of a car a week after he was reporting missing. The cause of death wasn't clear because the body had been so badly mutilated. Spilatro chose Blitzstein to take his place and so began a 30-year association that ended in both Spilatro and Blitzstein's death. After a series of arrests for bookmaking, Blitzstein moved out to Las Vegas sometime in the early 1970s and went to work for Spilatro's brother John, who would eventually open the Gold Rush, a jewelry store that was also the center for fencing stolen goods. Over the years, after Tony Spilatro moved out to Vegas, he was seldom seen without the massive Blitzstein by his side. At this point, Blitzstein was making his living primarily as a burglar as were most of Spilatro's so-called Las Vegas-based hole in the wall gang. The 300-plus-pound gangster also suffered from heart problems and diabetes that caused him to have two heart bypass operations and eventually to have several toes on his right foot removed. Things went from bad to worse when he was forced to plead guilty to four federal indictments that included charges of credit card fraud and income tax evasion. Released from prison in 1991, he returned to Vegas. Spilatro was long since dead and almost immediately faced a hearing to have his name entered into the Vegas Black Book, which restricted him from entering the casinos as a person of unsavory reputation. Undaunted, Blitzstein opened a loan sharking business and ran a series of simple auto insurance schemes which turned a healthy profit. No longer protected by Spilatro or the Chicago outfit, young wise guys from the L.A. and Buffalo families started to extort money from Blitzstein. On January 6, 1997, the gangsters simply grew tired of taking payments from Blitzstein and decided to take over all of his operations. Mafia contract killers entered Blitzstein's home and fired three bullets into him, killing him.